Hey guys, it's Preston with Vinny Vidi Vintage. Um, today I thought we could go around and check out our Pyrex collection and some of my favorite things here in our kitchen that are vintage and vintage inspired. So, let's do it. Let's jump in. Today I was going to show you our Pyrex collection and some of my favorite things we have in our kitchen that are vintage and vintage inspired. So let's jump right in. We have um, the Cinderella mixing bowls. Um, they're called Cinderella bowls when they have these little spouts on the sides of them, but we have um, the turquoise and white set. Um, they also made these in pink and yellow and they were manufactured from 1957 to 1968. So they had a long run. Um, I also have a couple of the casserole dishes here. Um, and little fridgy set here. They had the large one underneath, that big one, and medium size and two little small fridgies. So that's the butter print, you know. And like with my Fire King, I use those mixing bowls over there to mix things up, cakes, whatever I'm baking, cooking. <laughs> um, and I've used these casserole dishes, you know. Um, and this is my actually my favorite, uh, is the snowflake. And they didn't have any mixing bowls with the snowflake. I want to say this, and there was a pink one. I think these were like the first uh, pieces Pyrex had that had the designs on them. Um, so these are all casserole dishes. You know, you got your big two and a half quart. I think that's one and a half. And then these two are called Space Savers, and they're kind of odd sizes. They're two quart and one and one fourth. Um, I've baked brownies in that one before. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my favorite. Turquoise is my favorite color, and so they go really well in the kitchen because I have a lot of turquoise, like you see the curtains there. Um, but anyway, that's my all-time favorite. Um, and this is, people call it Robin's Egg Blue Turquoise. I was trying to look online to see what the, the manufacturer dates were. I had this utility pan too. It was on your pan, some people might call. Um, uh, I saw turquoise was produced in 1956 to 1962. So I'm assuming that means that, so. I could be wrong about that. If I am wrong about it and you know, please feel free to comment <laughs> and check me on this. So, let's see. The next thing I'll show you is the blue snowflake. Um, now, I only have these couple of pieces. Um, this was my Granny Levy's um, set. She had the Corel dishes. Corel made a set of dishes that went along with these Pyrex uh, baking dishes and they also had the mixing bowls, and one of my uncle's wives, um, who I don't really care that much for, she kind of got her hands on some of this stuff, so we don't like her. And my grandmother didn't like her either, so. But now she, yeah, it's her new uncle. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Family drama, okay? Um, let's see. I have this in the verde green, this lasagna pan. Um, they're pretty cool. I like how it kind of flings out on the side a little more than the others. And I want to say that was made from, I'm going off memory on this, 68 to 72 is standing out. That may be wrong. But it, it's late 60s, early 70s, I want to say they manufactured that. Which makes sense with that time period and their color scheme. Now these, you know, these were my dad's mom's. And these were my mom's moms. She had, uh, what is it called? Crazy Daisy, I'm so unprepared, I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy Daisy, spring, something or another, I forget. But anyway, um, my mom, um, I have the big bowl and the small bowl. And mom's got the medium bowls at her house. So they were my grandmother's and she had the, you know, the green and then the lighter colored green. I really like this one. And then this is just like a little casserole dish that went along with it. And the same as the snowflake, Corel made a pattern of uh, dishes that went along with this. Um, 
Now this is this top piece here, the yellow one. Uh, they called it Mod Kitchen. Uh, and it was kind of like only manufactured as a promotional piece in 1958. And so that's the one and a half quart baking dish. Um, but it's just got a really cool design on it. Yeah. And below that is another promotional piece. They made that one in 1960. And I have um, the little stand that it sits in. I think that's called a candle warmer. Is that right? Um, so, uh, gold, wait, wait, green wheat. Did I say that right? Yeah. Green wheat is that one. <laughs> it's so funny to me to, um, you know, I started picking up some of these pieces and of course I inherited some of them, but it's crazy how like some of the prices have gone up. Like some of the pink dishes, like I used to see out and about and it's like, I kind of wish I would have snatched them up, but of course, like with anything, where am I going to put it? We have so much stuff, you know, our fire team there in the background. It's just like a lot. <laughs> um, another one of my favorite things here in our kitchen um, is this little um, bar cart I found out and about. And it looks totally mid-century. It's kind of got that, you know, vibe, that look on it, you know. Um, and... I'm a little bit of a shopaholic, so I've picked up some of these things just randomly. Uh, I do know that this set was made by Anchor Hawking, and it's called Balloons, um, which makes sense, right? You see that? <laughs> um, I really like this because it's obviously a turquoise color, but um, this is called Milano Lido or something like that, and I want to say it was produced in the late 60s. Um, and these are like some big tea glasses. This um, little stand here, the caddy, drink caddy, it did not come with these and I saw it and took a chance and bought it and it actually kind of works, you know? And I really like the mid-century kind of like the design on that. So, I've seen this out and about a lot in the green. There's a green variation. I want to say there's a clear also. And they made these uh, glasses in um, different sizes. So really, really like that. We've made some pink lemonade in that and, you know, went to town on it <laughs> with the glasses. And again, like, you know, when I use like our turquoise fire king a lot of times to serve dinner, you know, we'll use these glasses as well. Now down here, these are called Glamalite glasses and they are like milk glass and they have like this rubber coating with these sparkles in them. And um, they're just really cool. There's like so many different colors. I think I may have most of the colors. There may be one or two that's missing, but I wanna say that's all of them. Um, I got two of these turquoise ones, but they're really cool. And they don't really leave a ring on your, you know, table. <laughs> so there's a few. Um, the lady I actually bought my Fire King things from, she said she had never seen these, uh, and I had never seen them either. Um, let's see. These are Anchor Hawking 2, I'm going to say, uh, like a rose design. Uh, I haven't been able to locate these online, so I don't really know much about them. Um, but, I like the little carrying case there. Look how it's made at the top. And these look atomic. Um, they have like a little spin, spinning, um, oh, little caddy. So you got that. And um, they just look really cool. A lot of times I'll use these during Christmas time. Um, they just have that real kind of like starbursty atomic design on them. Those are our glasses and the bar cart, which I really like. Um, and then of course I've got things just sitting around that are vintage inspired, like this cafe sign. And um, we have this atomic little light fixture over our table. Um, and you know, we're air conditioned for your comfort. I really like that one. And I have like little tins sitting around like this Maxwell House coffee with the flowers. And the ice cream tin and the candy tin. This is actually, has little starbursts on it. 
which I really like. Um, and then this is, you know, vintage inspired. If you want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen, right? <laughs> but anyway, you can put your cereal in that if you so chose to do so. Um, and then I really like these curtains. We have a store here called Old Time Pottery. And I actually found these and they look like somebody made them from a fabric. So, um, really dig these, you know. And then this is, I'm knocking my table, <laughs> which is this table that is, is newer. I think I bought this on Wayfair. I really dig these chairs. They have like the glitter in them. Um, but the table's not uh, vintage. Um, I should have waited because, you know, of course, when you buy something, you get impatient and you buy something. You end up finding one out in the wild. So, and that's happened to us a few times. So I kind of wish I would have waited, but I'm such an impatient person. So I went ahead and bought the table. And then, of course, when I got it set up, I saw like 100 million tables. But I don't regret buying, buying the chairs at all because I really dig those. And the table's good, too. It's been a good table. This is a clock we had, uh, we bought off of Etsy, and there's a guy in England that makes these. Um, and we have one upstairs in our bedroom too that's a different design, but he has all these uh, atomic -y design clocks, and uh, I'll have to link him in the description. Hopefully I won't forget to do that, but he's uh, very talented, right? Totally gives off the vibe. <laughs> Um, and then this, I got into a bidding war on eBay. I've seen different ones, uh, or different variations of this, uh, dustpan, but never a turquoise one. So, um, I got into a bidding war on that and I got it. <laughs> and this is, uh, like a tea towel calendar. Um, it's, uh, from 1957. So, I just thought it was cute. And why not, right? And I like all these little chalkware plaques and stuff like that. So I have stuff like that. There's some apples over here. And um, I don't think these are chalkware. These are probably from like the 70s or 80s. The mushrooms and the carrots and the radishes. And then this uh, vintage inspired advertisement for 25 cent burgers. <laughs> um, and then over here is, uh, I like this too. Today's menu, take it or leave it. And that's obviously vintage inspired. These are, I think, made by Wonder Mold. And I just thought they were cute little roosters. And uh, the owl, I think, was a spoon rest at one time. <laughs> but now it's hanging on my wall. Um, but I love anything lucite or acrylic. Um, and of course, over here we have some golden flake potato chip tins and campfire marshmallow tins. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Misty, with Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, she has that campfire marshmallow tin. Um, but yeah, so that's our little kitchen. And uh, those are, these are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I was thinking next time, maybe we'll check out our vintage Valentine's display since uh, we're about to be in February. So, all right. I hope you guys take care. Thanks for spending time and we'll see you next time.